Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from the Natural Lifestyles and as calm and as gentle and as lovely as I feel right now, I just want to bring a topic to you guys that I think that every single guy who's out there learning success of women needs to know. And that topic is finding happiness outside of women. So many guys become great at this. They do. Well, I say good. They become good at this. And when they're becoming good at this, they are approaching a lot. They're going out there, they're getting dates, they're sleeping with women, and through doing this process, they start to feel good about themselves. They start to feel some happiness within themselves. And what it makes them do is to really start to look at themselves and go, you know what, at this area, I need to work on, and that translates to this area of my life. Because seduction is amazing like that. You can learn something in seduction, and it can translate to other parts of your life. You know why? Because women and world are the same. The feminine um, and your woman is the same thing as the world. That's the reason why if a man is a lot of times uh, confident with women, he's confident with others. And um, a man who's a lot of times confident with the world, you know, him learning how to translate that into a woman sometimes may be very, very difficult. But what about the happiness that you feel when you're not there with the woman? What about the happiness that you want to feel in your life independent of women? This is what this video is all about. Happiness outside of women is really about you being able to look at yourself, and I always say look at yourself because it's always you. Look at yourself and see what really makes me happy besides approaching women and having sex with women. That's not the only route to happiness. Most guys have found this as a route in life uh, to be happy, but I can tell you right now, this is not the only route. And being a person that can be happy with and without women is how you just enjoy life enjoying life is about yes bringing women into your orbit who are amazing bring women into your orbit who you like or who you love but it's also about having an orbit to bring women into that you already enjoy what about that what about the orbit that you already uh, have that you don't enjoy what about that women want to be a part of that but you must first start to induce the things inside of you that make you happy. Start to come from the place inside of you that you really, the, play, the place you really want to go in life. The place where you really want to go with yourself. And I believe there's about three ways that you can do this. And these are, I think, these are, there's other ways you can do this uh, outside of these three ways. But I found that these are most, the most beneficial for me and those that I see that are walking through this journey. The first way is spirituality. Spirituality my uh, pronunciation sometimes fucked up and self-development most guys I see they start with self-development and they just stay there they go all right I learned self-development so you know it's, it talked it taught it taught me about beliefs it taught me about uh, being honest it taught me about eye contact it taught me about all these things that I need that are beneficial for me and it's helping me it's helping me become a person that's less like the crowd and I'm becoming a person that's independent of the crowd so I don't have to be on the group think, I can be somebody that has an independent way of thinking and this makes me happy. Because I know that in this, in this independent way of thinking, I'm becoming aligned. And that's great man. That's great for you to have self-development. And that's great for you to learn from those people who have what you want. That is a model that I go by. Who do I listen to? I listen to others who have what I want. That uh, Start to model those people who uh, have the things that you want in your life, whether that be money, whether that be uh, women, whether that be, oh, we have to talk about not women, whether that be money, whether that be uh, creative pursuits, whether that be uh, skills that you really want to learn, whatever it is, yes, self-development is great for that because you need to have anchors, strong enough anchors for you to one day let that go and find your own way. But self-development is not only the end. It's not only the end as far as you being able to develop as a man. You developing as a man is self-development, but you must mix that with spirituality. If you just try to do self-development, you will be a robot, you will. You won't have a lot of grace to you. You'll be somebody who talks about grace, who thinks they're living grace, but you're actually not feeling grace emanating from you. You're not a person who has true love emanating from you, true uh, contentment emanating from you. And when that's not really emanating from you, that lets you know that you're just being one-sided. And <clears throat> spirituality is a thing that lets you know 
that you are an intangible entity that's strong, that's powerful, that is explosive, that's very, very dynamic. Who are you besides your physical exterior? Who are you beneath everything? Can you honestly look at yourself and look at the, the times where you want to express yourself and what stops you? You need to look at your resistances and see, okay, at this moment, I know it's hard for me to open up to a woman, but it's only hard for me to open up to a woman because I've been scared because my mom never gave me the love that I wanted. You know, at this point, it's really hard for me to have uh, a connection with friends. Why? Because just like me, it was hard for me to keep friends in my life because I got used to the unconscious uh, pattern of me just letting friends go once they get close to me because that was just my pattern throughout life. If I didn't go into introspection and meditation, I wouldn't be able to find that out. But for me to be able to find that out, I need to come to spirituality. I can go, you know what? What I need to do is get closer to my friends and just do that act, which would be self-development. All right, what I need to do is just become closer to my friends, understand that it's not their fault, and just give them the love that they need. That's the self-development way. The spirituality way is looking underneath. It's having the awareness to know at the times where you close. Being able to see all the way to the core of what it is that you really need to work on, this is where the spirituality comes in. And with the spirituality, you'll be able to make your self-development part stronger. These must be a combination. If they're just one-sided, you're gonna be a, um, a one-dimensional character. There are some people who just go totally the spirituality route and they become like these weird people who, I don't I wanna say hippie, but I don't really know what a hippie is. These people who are incredibly just about, you know, uh, meditation and, 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 and being this and, you know, and flowing this love and they don't really know uh, the anchors to that. They don't. And it's nothing wrong with just having spirituality, but you need to learn from those people who have what you want. Which means people who've done what you want before you, before you let it go. You need to have enough anchors uh, from those that this is what I feel, uh, models, people out there who've done it before you, so you can get what they've, what they've, what they've gotten from the journey, take it on as your own, let go of the things you don't need, and then find your own truth. So I believe that there should be a strong combination between these two. Just being one-sided, you're fucked. But having both of these together, you are incredibly a powerful being. Number two. Number two is creative things that allows you to express yourself. I love dance. I love writing poetry. I love writing. I love things that are beauty and I love art and I just am a person who is heartfelt. So I have a, a knack for detail of beauty. I really do. I love beauty. And being, <clears throat> being a man who becomes someone who is well-rounded, I think it requires you to get into something creative because being able to express yourself is important. If you only believe the only time you can ever be expressive is with a woman or with others, then you're missing out of all of life. You have many different things you can put your creative talents into. It just requires you to do some trial and error. It requires you to go out there and try things. Okay, I'm not good at that. Go out there and try dance. Oh yeah, dance is something that, yeah, I'm probably not that good at, but dance is a skill. That means you can learn how to be good at that. You can learn how to be good at something you're really into. See, what is the thing that you really want to take up? I know later in life the thing that I'll take up is learning how to carve ice. That's one of my most, I, I love that. It's one of the most fascinating things to me is learning how to carve bushes and carve ice. I think this is one of the most creative, amazing things that a person has ever made up on earth. So I know one day I'll do that. Right now, I know that dance is the thing that I love. Um, being able to write poetry. Um, I'm allowing myself to write feminine and masculine conversations, the, what they have between each other. Everything is just a flow of creative expression through me. And every time that I'm doing this, I feel connected. I feel connected to myself. I feel more connected to life because I know that life itself is poetry. Life itself is art. The witness outside of life, I will always talk about the masculine, is the witness. That is, that is being able to see that. But being able to engage and be with and flow with, that's something that it requires you to really give yourself away to. Go try acting. Go try um, theater. Go try improv. All these things allows you to be a person that's creative and expressing yourself. 
And with this expression, you'll learn many of the things that you're learning when you go talk to women, especially improv, because that's actually what it is when you go up to a woman. You're being spontaneous and in the moment, and that's your most attractive self, your spontaneous self. So go out there and learn something that's creative for you. If you feel yourself having a hard time um, with connection with others, go out there and start to do things that are feminine so you can start to learn what connection means. Be able to connect to the part of yourself that really wants to love, that really wants to show tenderness, that really wants to show that you are a person that's soft and warm and that has a great way of being and really stay connected to these creative things when you get them. Don't give up on it. Stay with it because with staying with it, you'll start to see the blossoming of it. It's the same thing when you meet a woman. When you stay with, with the woman and pace with her, at whatever how level on you go, you start to see the blossoming of a woman. And number three, I think the thing that is the most powerful and the most important for a man is to find what it is that he really has to offer to this world and make that part of his mission in life. What is it that you really love about being alive? What is something that you want to offer from being the person that you are? And this requires, of course, the other two being intact. Spirituality and self-development, you start to really know yourself. Creative pursuits, you start to go out there and try things that give you expression in the world. Then, once you're out there doing that, what you'll find is that, oh, you know what, I actually do love music, or I actually do love producing music, or I actually do love producing movies, or I actually do love dance. Whatever it is, go see what that is, commit to it, and offer that to the world in some way where you can help. Teach dance in some way if you really can become good at it. If you do art, go out there and, and learn art and commit to art and have it as your creative expression and then put it up in places where people can go watch it. Do things where you get to offer what it is that you love to do to the world. What can you do to make this world a better place in your own way? We have many different ways of doing this. Somebody who's a real estate agent, somebody, somebody literally who's, who's in real estate is doing something where they're changing the world. If they really love it, they're changing the world. They're helping people get homes. Somebody who is definitely a coach, he, of course he's helping somebody. Somebody who is in a job where he's being an accountant, he's helping people's life. What can you do to really help people's life? I mean, not just going to work at some normal job, but really going to something that you absolutely love. Because once you do something you love, you can have the passion to start change, to change people's lives. What I do, man, I grind in what I do. Do you know why? Because I have so much passion behind it. Do you know why? Because I love what I do. I love what I do. And I've made it a part of my mission. My mission in life is to help as many men as I can to be the best they can be with themselves and with women. That's important to me. It is. As many men as I can before I leave this earth. You know what that means? That means I gotta fucking grind. I do. Because it, it's a part of me now. That's what I want. I want as many men to change around me as I can. With and without women. And that's why I make this video for you. That's why you're watching me right now. Because I care about you. I care about helping you change. And then you're changing. That lets me know that I'm doing good in the world, man. Even the act of me doing this lets me know that I'm doing good in the world. I just came off workshop. I was with the students all day. And I was tired. But I know that I have the energy to do this. You know why? Because I'm fucking passionate about seeing you guys change and, and, and seeing your life take a totally different turn just because you've been watching my videos or just because I've gave you the avenue to watch someone else's videos. I'm not in competition with anybody. I'm only out here to give the most value that I can to you guys so you can start to change your life in a way that you want. What are you going to do, man? It's your life. What are you going to do? Find happiness outside of women. And then when you bring women into that orbit, Fuck, man. They love it so much. So much don't they love it, man. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles. And subscribe below to Essence Solo, guys. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video.